plastery day in Orkney today. <laughs> Every day is a plastery day in Orkney. It's a very interesting building we have here, isn't it? I can't quite figure this one out, actually. It's a bit unusual. But it's clearly a building that you're meant to be on the inside of and not the outside. <laughs> oh, it's good to be inside, isn't it? Look at that. Hang on. That's not the whole for that to go on the other side. That feels like that's a little bit more than keeping the weather out. Uh, keeping people out, you think? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think this home, you can just tell that it's just packed full of history, can't you? You just get that feeling from it, I mean, from the textures of all like, the door and the timber and the door handles and everything. And the flagstones, the whole thing. And there's something quite interesting over here. Oh! You don't see that every day, do you? <laughs> ah, that's my bedroom. Oh. <laughs> I can't even see down there. No. I can, Ooh. I can, I can. <laughs> so a house down by the jetty, down by the sea, what do you think that would be for? With a secret hatch? Yeah, a secret and hatch. A, and a bolt across the door. It's clandestine activities, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so that's for keeping the customs guys out. Yeah, and if they get in, this is for getting away. <laughs> I love all these old doors. Oh, I love this kitchen. This is adorable. It's like a doll's house kitchen. I love all the painted cabinets. It looks like these have been done, like handmade, really. Look, upcycled. Although there's quite a mix of furniture and objects and a kind of quite an unfitted feel, it is a very simple palette. It's basically just white and this kind of O'Donnell colour, which these older pieces have all been upcycled by being painted the same colour. And I, I think that makes it quite harmonious. I think I find it just, I don't know, there's something's making me uncomfortable in here and I don't quite know what it is. I'm, I think I'm getting assaulted by all the flowery patterns. It's not quite all gelling for me. You know, there's a modern fridge and there's, you know, there's a computer in the corner and these things are jarring to me with the other tone, which seems to me a wee bit kind of just sort of thrown together. It just feels like there's enough in here to make it work. I think if you had less, it probably would look a little bit sparse, but then if you have more, then it would be overwhelming. I think they've done it just right. home was the very definition of charming and homely. It was a joy to be in. My favourite room was definitely the kitchen and I loved the mint um, that was carried through the whole room. But as we moved up into some of the other rooms, I felt like it did become a little bit over the top. It's a very fascinating original building. Very unique. You don't see many like this, where there's a you know single aspect one way and a single aspect the other all in the one building. I felt in the kitchen and other, other places throughout the home a slight sense of the need to maybe edit. I think minimalists are like that, you know, you put them in a room with more than three things and they begin to twitch. I think there was one thing that you could almost not notice, really a quite fascinating collection of artwork. If someone said that art is just about taking the world and translating it back into a way that someone else can understand it, then that's all over this home. And that's really rather nice, and it just sits there, not shouting at you, it's just everywhere you look, there's another picture. I've been quite blown away by how emotional my response has been to this home. The history of the building, you just have this feeling of 200 years of people inhabiting this building. The way that this interior has evolved and the way that decisions have been made about what gets put in this home makes it impossible to criticise. Mm -hmm.